Hi, I'm Robin Fitston, and I am running for the California State Assembly, District 41, and that covers Pasadena East, along the foothills to Upland, and even a portion of Rancho Cucamonga. And I'm asking for your vote because I want to go to Sacramento and fight. I want to change our corrupt, unconstitutional government in this state of California. Uh, my campaign right now is on hold during the Chinese coronavirus epidemic, but we'll be back out there strong. Just check my website and you can see all the upcoming exciting events there. And briefly, I'm going to bring on one of our neighboring constituents who's going to talk to you about her story and Sacramento overreach, exactly what I'm going to fight against. My uh, candidacy, briefly, I would let you know that I am the pro-America, that means American citizens first, pro-business, that means lowering taxes and regulations, and pro-law enforcement, secure our border. One of my fights will be to repeal SB 54, the sanctuary state law. Now, uh, I would like to bring on my neighboring constituent, Lori Masonis. Uh, she has had an outrageous personal story about, as a contract employee, Sacramento wants to fine her for not carrying her insurance, health insurance. This is unconstitutional. She should have the right to make her own personal decisions. I have Lori on the phone now, and we're going to switch to Lori, and she's going to tell you her story about Sacramento overreach, which I will fight against when you send me to Sacramento. Introduce Lori Masonas. Uh, she is on the line now, and she's going to tell you about the outrageous Sacramento overreach that she's personally experiencing. Lori, go ahead and let us know what's going on. Hi there. Yes, over a week ago, I received a letter that said, State of California Franchise Tax Board. And I thought, oh my gosh, what did I do? So I opened the letter, and it says, and it used my first name, by the way, so it's very personal, right? Dear Lorena, Californians must have health insurance in 2020 and onwards. That's the new law. Without it, you may face a penalty when filing your California state tax return. Then at some point it says, if you don't have California health insurance in 2020, you could face a California state penalty at tax time unless you qualify for an exemption. So they have on the sheet important tax information. Now remember, I am an individual and I have two part-time jobs, sometimes up to three part-time jobs. The estimated 2020 penalty for not, having, for not having health insurance is this. For an individual like me, the minimum, this is where it starts, the minimum for an individual is $695. Wow, that is outrageous, Lori. Oh, it gets better, though. For a married couple, the minimum is $1,390. Oh. Oh, here's another one. There's more. A family of four with two children would be the minimum, get this, 2085 Oh, Lori, this is outrageous. And again, the federal government fortunately ended Obamacare mandates and penalties. Now here we have Sacramento unconstitutional overreach violating our Constitution and forcing citizens in California, such as yourself, to pay these outrageous penalties. Can I just add one thing? So um, I try to contact my assembly member and state senator recently to leave a message regarding this, and as well as some other issue. They're not taking messages. How about that for accountability? Well, you know, we need to be contacting our state legislators. They are supposed to have remote staff members taking your messages. Uh, we can also email, Facebook, tweet, 
So we need to use social media. We need to stay uh, on the state legislators. This is unconstitutional. And we need to hold their feet to the fire. We need to vote them out, Lori. Yes. I agree with you, and I hope you make it to Sacramento. Yes, that's why we're making this video. Lori contacted me, and this is the exact type of issues I will be fighting when you send me to Sacramento. Again, uh, thank you, Lori. Uh, we hope that you'll have a resolution to this outrage. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're sorry Sacramento has rained this down upon you. Our, our blessings are with you. And again, uh, thank you for sharing your story. Send me, Robin for Assembly, send Robin for Assembly to Sacramento, and I will fight to make changes. Thank you.